some hot water so I can have some more lemon ginger warm water that I call tea. It's so tasty. I'm fixing to make some more tea. Look at this. Delicious. I'm just going to peel those, slice them, put them in my Vitamix, blend them with a little bit of water, pour them in an ice cube tray, freeze them, pop them out, put them into, they do good in the green box in the freezer. Um, and then I can have those convenient. You can put those, drop it in for a dressing when you need lemon and ginger. Drop it in for a smoothie. Drop it in for a soup. Drop it in for a warm drink, cold drink. Very convenient. But I'm coming to you this morning with a few random tidbits, and here they go. What is it that one stinking morsel of food can take you down. It is because these foods that we allow ourselves to still put in our mouth have qualities that can resemble addiction to you. If you have one bite, it's like the Pringles commercial, you can't just eat one, or whatever chips commercial that was, it might have been Lay's. That's true because that's a chemical laden food. The thing is, what keeps you from, and what makes you take your hand when you have said the plan you want to do, you have mapped it out, you've spent extra money to do this, you've blabbed to all your friends and family how they're not doing right and how you were going to do right, and here's what you were going to do, get the fruit out of the way, but yet then you allow yourself and I in the past to put my hand on something I don't know, maybe my son was having Pop-Tarts. Put my hand on that Pop-Tart, watch my hand bring it to my face, open my mouth, and put it in. It's almost like a robotic movement. We have got to learn to get into the 5% of conscious thinking so that we can shake out of our old habits no matter where you are on this diet and lifestyle. No matter where you are or I am trying to cultivate a new life for myself. You know, I don't want my old patterns. I want new fresh ideas. I want a clean slate. I want to open my brain and my airways you know, so that I can breathe in fresh air, breathe in the white fresh air, and release the black smoke. That is what I want for my life. And I don't know if people just don't want it bad enough or they don't believe in it enough. What I really think it is is they don't believe in their self, you know. And sometimes you need somebody to say, let me love you till you can learn to love yourself. Let me do that. Let me tell you what path I took. Let me help show you the light that I see now. You know, dairy and chemicals, even for years, I used to love to put a little bit of coffee creamer in coffee. I did it to myself. That stuff constantly gave me like fibromyalgia pain. Mucus, I couldn't hardly talk. I would be, I mean, like, it would close my throat up. It does that to my mother now, but yet she continues to do it, and I continued to do it for years until one day I woke up and said, you know what, enough, enough. I am smarter than this, furthermore, stronger than this. I mean, keep full. When you are at the road, the fork of decision, are you full? Take a time to tip back a smoothie, give it five minutes, and then rethink your decision of your kids' cupcakes. The hostess cupcakes that taste like nothing but chemicals. Those things that don't even taste like food. We will eat trash food too, like um, 
Funyuns. Stuff that is not even food. We don't even just drop down to plant-based whole foods. We cooked some beans and had those. Sure, it blew our stomach up and we felt lethargic, but still no one had to die. You didn't ingest chemicals. We don't even do that. It's like we can't even think past the moment. Why is that? It is the one morsel keeping you from success. So watch as you take your hand onto that food, lift it up, and put it in your face. You could even take that moment to spit it out. If you start to chew it, you could still spit it out. You don't have to do it. It doesn't matter if you're living with a family that eats the sad diet. I did that for years. I cooked their food, served it with a smile, and then came back in the kitchen and made my own. And usually didn't have time to do all that before they sat down, so I missed every dang meal. You know what? So what? I'm healthier for it. My kids have seen me go through that, and they're following me in my own path. Every bite you take, are you building yourself up or breaking yourself down? That is the question to ask as you lift and put it in. You know, your body stores toxins in fat pockets, in cellulites, um, cellulite, in mucus, uh, you know, flowing. It's, it builds up acidic acid in the joints. Acid crystals in the joints that make it where you can't even move like you're 80 years old and you're only 40. I don't know hardly anybody my age, I will be 43 in November, that can move. People act like they are, they act like they're 70 years old. They can't move, let alone dance. Is this what we want? It makes me, it makes me sad for people, you know, because I see this happening to people over and over and Take someone's hand, you know, that can help you. We're developing disease with every bite if we're not building up our body. You know, do we think that we just all of a sudden one day we had cancer, we woke up with that, it, it snuck in the window last night and got in us? No, we developed that. We grew it, you know. Sure, there's environmental toxins and things we can't avoid, but you know what, the things I can avoid, I'm certainly going to. Feeling clear and light and free to do your life. You know, freedom from addiction to food. And I don't care who says foods are not addictive. I think they are. I think we're addicted to our old mindset, our own pattern, our own beating ourselves up, the chemicals in food the comfort in food. Yes, we need to carb up, get the food in. Don't just go around and think, I'm never going to eat again. Until I lose this 60 pounds, I'm not eating. Forget it. Yes, you are. So get a plan, you know? Everything people do, do in this society revolves around food. This, you know, they're going to the movies, they're going to have food. They're going out to eat, of course, to have food. They're really not even... It is like a draw. Everything we do, really, not me, but everything people do revolves around food. I don't care if I leave this house freestyle. I can stop at a grocery store and buy a sack of oranges. I can open them with my fingernails if I have to. I can eat them with my hands and I can wipe my mouth on my shirt. I don't need anything but me. You know, for eating. What else I want to tell you? You know, people act like raw food is so expensive, but look at how much food costs. Look at how much people will, like, totally disregard what they're spending on going out and getting drunk and partying and, and buying Funyuns, or if they're hungry and they stop at the, the, the fast food place, or they stop at, you know, the 7-Eleven little, or little cricket or whatever to get their gas, and they go and they're hungry. At no, it doesn't matter. At no expense, they will get whatever they want at that moment. Because those kind of foods have that pull on us. It is like a now, I don't care, give it to me, I'll think about it later, or not. I think it's cheaper to eat low-fat raw vegan. It's definitely cheaper than fighting disease, surely if you have no insurance. I go around with no insurance. Though I have found somebody that will do a complete um, workup and, and uh, 
I hadn't had my teeth cleaned in years or even checked for $45. So I'm gonna be, that'll be on the 15th and y'all can go with me and we'll see how low fat raw vegan, high fruit fruitarian for seven plus years, what kind of dental checkup I get, okay? Because I know it'll be good and I'd love for y'all to come along for that. But, um, people are in the moment and they just don't care, you know? They just don't care. You can heal your whole body with low-fat raw vegan. You can heal, you know? You can heal down to your puffy eyelids, down to the disease in your body, your crystallized joints, your mental problems. No, that doesn't mean you're going to have a perfect life of rainbows and unicorns. I certainly don't, but I manage my situation much better than any other diet and lifestyle I could be on, you know? I mean, do you not think if you took 40 days out of your life and you... I've got a Skype call in a minute. That was my person. I, that's what I was looking at. She sent me a message. Um, 40, um, 40 days, fruits and greens. Do you not think that you could clean up your life and clean up your act? Because you could. Fruit hydrates. It is an astringent, you know? Get the stuff out. Put the good in. More fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables. More today than yesterday and more tomorrow than today. More of that and less of everything else. You know, this is why I feel like people that are going to a starch-based diet and they're getting most of their calories from rice, the, the main problem I see with that is not necessarily the rice. It's that they're taking a thousand calories of their day and consuming rice instead of whole, fresh, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables where all your phytonutrients are, you know? I want to detox my body and regenerate it, breaking down the bad and building up the good, you know? Be the best person you can be it's when you wake up feeling the best you can. When you go to the closet and choose your clothes and you don't have to have a fancy day. You might have a hippie day. You might have an unpaint my walls day. You might have a, I don't know, but when you choose those, it's every moment you take. It's reaching in that closet and realizing these are the moments of your life. All these things you're doing, people act like they're not developing their lifestyle that that binge eating every day when they fall off the wagon is not their lifestyle it is all these little moments linked together creating our life are we wasting it i mean just like you can reach in your closet and choose your clothes furthermore don't you want to be able to wear everything in there and don't you want to feel good in it fluid where you can move and breathe and just be in the moment and not in the pain of the moment. You know, majestically lighter and brighter, that is where I like to thrive and live. I mean, take a break and just Think about your life. Take some breaks from all the combination of, even if you're on high fat raw, just some mono meals, just some simplicity. Not feeling like you even have to cram in a 3,000 calorie smoothie if you didn't even want that. Furthermore, people are saying, well, you just need to listen to your body. Friends, until you clean up your body, you can't listen to your body, you know? That's like saying, well, I have this group of meth addict friends and I'm, I'm going to listen to my friends though I'm trying to get off meth. Your body has those toxins swirling around and even as you detox, you could have had, let's say, acid bumps or tongue lesions or stuff years ago and you took medicine for that and it made you give you the heebie-jeebies or whatever. It kind of cleared it up. As you're detoxing, you're going to backtrack through that. That medicine that's in your system is going to come up again. You're going to have the heebie-jeebies. You're going to have a little of those breakouts or, or tongue lesions again. As your body totally detoxes the stuff you have just repressed down in your body. So I think these are just a few little, um, little tidbits with Tanya to think about this morning. Now it's time to dance. <laughs>
Because <laughs> I gotta talk to my sweet girl on the phone in a second. And she always likes to dance. So y'all 